one. Do you know Paul Chan? No. I do. He's good. Um, okay. Give us some backstory. He, yeah. Paul Chan is 650, born and raised. He went to high school with PPU and SVAP. Okay. So that's his crew. Not a tournament guy, uh, but he's good. And uh, yeah, he's just never had too much interest in tournaments, but maybe he does now. Uh, maybe he's going to come out more. I. We, uh, we rolled from Santa Cruz to a, he goes to the Santa Cruz with Cooper U now also. Uh -huh. We rolled from Santa Cruz to a new tournament in Slow, and he got third, and I got second. Cooper U obviously got first. Okay. Um, and the fourth place player was this guy, Dante Fox, who is actually... He's pretty solid. Yeah, he's a solid Fox. He's taken, he's taken a set off sandbagging West Ball, just if I know about him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dante, his problem is he's good at what he does, but he's not good at adapting. So if somebody like downloads him, he's, he's done. Uh, but Paul going in on oversteps here. Yeah, he's fairly convincing right now. That's it. Wow. Four stock incoming. Um, oversteps is not this bad. He should take at least two two stocks with Paul, I think. Big part of the problem was oversteps doesn't know how to smash the eye up, up air, so he got up air like eight times. Uh -huh. That's a nice job. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised he can go for a runoff like reverse up B or something. Yeah. It was guaranteed in that space. So that's it one more time, good. one more time. Good recovery, yeah, a double nice jump fair, uh, making sure that he couldn't do the mark killer. Then a lame fox combo. <laughs> Yoshi's story, um, generally a stage that Marth players like. Yeah. In 20XX they will not like it. It's definitely a Fox stage, like overall, not just against Marth, but just Foxes. Fox can do so many things from the ledge on that stage, invincibly. Um, wow, Paul not banning FDU, which honestly that's fine, because he, he knows uh, Oversteps is not on the Mewtwo King's Zero to Death. Yeah. And he's probably pretty confident after the last game too. Yeah, once uh, once Fox hits Marth and gets him up in the air, Marth is really, really messed up on the stage. Like, uh, so like honestly, yeah, Fox has an amazing punish game on Marth in this matchup. Um, it just takes a player as clean as hacks to really show it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, some of this stuff has really tight windows. Yeah, but um, like the potential is so high. Good ledge guards. Uh, Paul really showing he's a solid player. I know he wants to play me at this tournament because I wrecked him last time. <laughs> and uh, you know if he plays this good, he might have a chance. Uh, you can see Oversteps, like, he's going for a lot of really suboptimal options. Um, lucky Paul was a dumbass and not beat right into him right there. <laughs> I don't know about these options, Paul. Forward smash? Yeah. Okay, that was a techable forward smash, but uh, he didn't get any smash CI. Man, Paul's ground game is looking really good right now. He's kind of like, he's not respecting Oversteps' space at all. And, yeah. Uh, you don't just like stand at ledge there normally. <laughs> yeah. Smart at all. You should like you respect the space. Shit ton of confidence. That's kind of like, that's a good thing to do when you're, when you're, when you think you're the better player though. If you can like, can show that kind of confidence and call out some I think it's options. because Oversteps isn't forcing anything, so Paul is just like, well, I'll run around and do whatever I want. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's that option we talked about earlier. Uh -huh. Side B from the ledge. There we go again, yeah, and he still wasn't he ready. Hit by it. If I, oh, oh, wow. wow. That really was nice trade. <laughs> kind of lucky, really but fortunate. honestly, yeah. up tilt down air is something that's been working for Mars for a decade. Yeah. Uh, every, every once in a while, I still get hit by it. And you just have to like shake it off. Yeah. I think that that was the, the Asm back in the that and the like Randy Forest match is what he was most known for. See, even when Paul misses bases an attack, Oversteps isn't like getting a dash dance grab. So that that's really what Mars' strength is. Strength is on FB. He did get a sick tipper there. Okay, nice deal. No, God, oversteps, please. 
God. <laughs> His kill setups have been so jank. Yeah, Randy, Randy yeah. Tipper. Yeah, just random shit. No actual like combos in the kills. And please stop staying on the ledge like that. That's such a bad option. So. Let's see if we can close out a stock here. Oh, that, that could be it. Yeah, okay, okay, that was good. That he was hasn't good. shown it all. all nice, back. okay. That was a nice tear. Yeah, when it's, when it's the last stock, you know you can just uh, run off and react to that. You should do it. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Yeah. As soon as they're below the stage without a jump. Uh, just you, don't, you like, pull a Birdo and just, like, die. Right. So, Suicide Dare will cover shit and reverse up you well. Uh -huh. And if they don't dip really low, then you can just do something like fairs or, I don't know, even side B. Uh -huh. Okay, Battlefield, which is a... Honestly, there are better counter Wow! Paul is such crappy DI on tippers. Jesus. Okay, that that kind of saved him. Okay, there we go. Paul definitely was shitty survival DI this set. Really <laughs> shitty. Um, one of the reasons why I spanked him last time. Just because if you can Nia... We talked about this in the car on the way back from the foundry. It's one of yeah. the spaces here. You just stop Nia as soon as it combos and it always kills him. Okay, yeah. That soft up that. air. Up smash, I mean. But, uh, okay, okay, so anyway, Battlefield just shows that you think you just want to, you don't want to, like, take advantage of the stage, you just want to outplay them, uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, you're not looking for, a, yeah, you're not looking for the stage advantage, you're looking for a fair match to just outplay them, um, unless it's maybe, like, Fox, Falcon versus Spaces, where all the stages suck, <laughs> that they don't yeah. ban. I love Battlefield against Spaces. Yeah. There, there are some match, a couple matches where just other stages suck, so you know. Okay, a really dumb roll from the ledge. Uh, I guess possible accident, but if you're at 158 also, uh, it's not the worst thing to go for something to try to get lucky that has a big reward. Yeah. So, yeah. Man, Oversteps is... He really stepped it up. Yeah, he's actually playing pretty good now, although his ledge often still sucks. One thing, one thing from Paul is like he's, God, he hasn't been quite fast enough off like his grounded nice. to confirms. Okay, no, no, but that's that's a total momentum changer that shot. Yeah. Now Oversteps is going to be worried a little, but now it's Oversteps with the the movement in the neutral that's kind of like keeps catching Paul like that. Oh my God! Oh. Wave dash out of shield, Randy up smash. Damn, he's gotten so many tippers this set. Oh, see, like right there too. That was oh. no God. That yeah. was a dash dance grab. Paul whiffed an aerial, and it was 100% a dash dance grab at each. Again. Wow. <laughs> okay, Oversteps okay. seems really comfortable in that situation where he, yeah. uh... You've got, like, the top platform right above Oh, him. another tipper. Man, Oversteps keeps reading his movement, oh, but, uh... Oh, there. He would have comboed. Oh, another... I think this could be it. Oh, yeah. No. Bad DI from Paul, but he barely lives. NTSC is pretty low. And he keeps getting hit by the Randy F smash. Oh! And the Randy F smash! Good shit, Oversteps! Paul Chen! Oh my god! Oversteps. Paul sucks! Stuff. I said he was so good, but now I can shit talk him. He really... Really catching a lot of F smashes. <laughs> Paul was not quite Paul, fancy. Paul just... He's just so hungry to get F smashed. You just love getting F smashed, Paul. It's like it's like your favorite thing in the world. 